Um, I had a really spectacular video film for you in my, in my kitchen, but my computer did that weird thing where the audio and the video don't sync up, but it was really, really terrible. So, this is my bathroom. The webcam sucks. But anyway, down to business. First of all, Jessica, is your head okay? Because <laughs> I read your tweet and um, your Facebook status about how you got hit in the head with a soda bottle at a football game. That's terrible. I was going to make a video response to your video um, on your personal channel, making you a helmet, but I couldn't find one in my house so far. So look out for that because it might happen. Uh, it was going to be just really obnoxious and beautiful. It would have been wonderful, but yeah, is your head okay? Please let me know. <laughs> Um, Susan, don't even worry about being a book nerd. I guarantee you, I either match you or surpass you. I would have just freaked out if I got to go to that place that you went to. That sounded incredible. And it's kind of like an addiction for me. People have to tell me not to buy books when we go to the bookstore. It's that bad. Because I have, I just spent all my money on books, which I guess isn't really a bad thing. But it's better than like spending it on drugs and stuff. Books are my crack, but whatever. That's fine. So, yeah. And, Muda, I hope that your workload gets easier in school. It probably won't get easier because it's it's college, but I hope that it gets lighter. I'll miss seeing your face if you don't put videos up. It'll make me so sad. And, Brenda, we cannot punish you for that for two reasons. The first one being we never really set down punishment rules anyway. And also, that was really disgusting. I don't blame you for not finishing it. I probably couldn't even have taken a bite of that. That just looked so, so terrible. And, yeah, I agree with you guys. This has been a lot of fun. Well, yeah, we have been doing it for, like, over a month now. It's a lot of fun. I like getting to know you guys. And I do hope that we all get to meet one day. That would be pretty awesome. And, oh, the question. The question, the question, the question. Uh, I agree with Susan. Spider-Man is my favorite. We were arguing over Spider-Man, Superman, and Batman. And I said, we decided Batman didn't really count, because he, while he's a superhero, he doesn't have powers. I don't know why that was in air quotes, because <laughs> I just do that sometimes. But he, he doesn't have powers so much as he just has, like, cool gadgets and stuff. But Spider-Man got bit by a radioactive spider which is kind of awesome, and he's such a badass. Like, he, can, he can't be defeated by a glowing green rock. He actually has actual, like, fights to the death and stuff. And Superman is just, he's so pretentious. And he thinks he's so awesome when really he's not. Let's be honest, he's not. And he's just the, like, cliche storybook superhero. And we all know Spider-Man's better. We all do. So, yeah, that was my take on that. And some exciting news here at my house. Um, if you remember back in my first video, I said that I was technically a sophomore in culinary school. That was because I was withdrawing. I don't want to do that anymore, which I know sucks to figure it out. What can you do? So I'm starting community college in January. Um, to go for writing. I want to be a young adult novelist. I wanted to be a writer, but I was kind of like, senior year of high school, it's kind of like, well, you need to pick one. And I went with um, baking and pastry. But I do want to be a writer, and that's what I'm doing. So, oh, segue from writing. Um, I'm doing NaNoWriMo this year. I don't know if any of you guys know what that is or are doing it, but... Or anybody who's watching this, if you don't know what it is, essentially the month of November, you write down, you write a 50,000 word novel. I'll put a link to the website eh, down down there somewhere. But so I'm probably gonna get kind of crazy in November. I'm sorry, I keep touching my hair, guys. Just that one piece of hair is bothering me. But I'm probably gonna be really really weird in November, just for the writing and all that. But if any of you know who Maureen Johnson is, if follow her on Twitter. You know what she's like. I'm kind of like that in general anyway. So, I don't know what's going to happen. But, uh, oh, my brother's going to have our theme music hopefully next week. So that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see what you come up with, Jessica, for our graphic. And, Muda, I'll see you on Monday.